Yeah. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Hope you can hear me okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and let Kurt make his opening statement after the Knights 83-56 victory over the Dallas Wings. Uh, we took the series 3-0 over the Wings. Uh, this is our 10th game in a row that the Connecticut Sun have won. Um, Kurt, you can go ahead and take it away. Yeah, proud of our focus tonight. Proud of our team. Big win. Um, we talked about a fast start in the locker room. We talked about um, coming out with a focus and intensity um, at the defensive end. And again, that first quarter really set the tone at both ends of the ball, offensively and defensively. So um, just a dominant performance by our group um, and, and everybody contributed. Um, it was really, really um, a team effort, both at the offensive end and the defensive end. Special shout out to Jazz becoming the Suns all-time leader in assist in franchise history. JJ moving into second all-time in block shots in franchise history. So great to see. And I know um, our defense takes pride, but uh, I know Arike had some absolutely amazing double-figure streak that was snapped tonight. And uh, we held her to two for 17 for the game. So that is not uh, one person, but a lot of our little guards chasing around, but a lot of attention with our post players to Arike. So just a overall really great win for us to set the tone on this road trip. Thank you, Kurt. We'll go ahead and open it up to some questions. Please raise your hand and I'll call on you. Gabby. Hey, Kurt, congratulations on 10 straight. I mean, <laughs> I know you guys are focused on a lot more, but just to hit that number and have that consistency, I know there's been a lot that you guys have worked on to get to this point where you can come out and have a dominant win like that. Yeah, it's not in this league, Gabby, it is not easy uh, to have that long of a uh, win streak. It, it's a credit to our players preparation on um, we are very scout heavy and they are absolutely dialed into the preparation. That is a credit to the assistant coaches who work their tails off to prepare them and, and help establish a game plan each and every night. Um, but a true focus that they come to the court. This is the competitive group that um, I love to coach. It's what makes them special. We are good in the tough areas. Not um, it's not always easy to play defense the way we play. It's not always easy to rebound the way you rebound. Um, they are really dedicated to the tough parts of the game, uh, defense and rebounding. So um, just really, really happy. And, and um, we're going to try to keep going one game at a time. One quick follow-up. Do you guys <laughs> celebrate something like this? Is that in the culture of this team or is it kind of just a quick nod and move on? Yeah, there was, uh, there was a, a joy uh, sometimes winning is a relief, unfortunately, uh, when you're in basketball long enough. And we've all felt that, um, you know, such a relief at times. Tonight was pure joy. Um, the bench was happy for the starters. The, the, um, the starters were happy for the bench. Um, they know that it wasn't one person. I think we had five or six people in double figures. We got, you know, nine out of our 10 scored. You know, so just there, there was a joy in our locker room tonight. And it, it's really fun when that happens because too much um, this game is too often at all levels uh, becomes a relief to win. And it's nice to, you know, have one good joy game. That's for sure. Thank you. Alexa. Hi, Kurt. Um, you mentioned it in your opening comments, but um, can you speak? speak to what exactly um, you all were able to do so well defensively to hold Arike to just two made field goals. And also if my math is correct, I believe you're officially at half the game so far this season where you have held teams to 70 or fewer points, um, 14 out of 28, I think. Um, so again, can you just speak to the overall defensive effort and just consistency to be able to do that night after night after night? Yeah, again, um, Bree January sets the tone on someone like Enrique, but it is a team effort. It is a scheme. It's a lot of attention. 
Um, they were down some players, some outstanding players. Saw two, Izzy Harrison's not playing. Um, you know, and so, you know, we knew that they were going to have to play through Enrique a lot. Um, they were going to have to play through Marina a lot. So just a lot of attention um, in our scouting report. And so that's five people guarding the ball at times and shrinking the floor and giving attention um, to players that we know they want to score, or take their most shots. So just hats off. And again, Brandy Poole Scout was excellent. We had uh, an, an, you know, a little bit longer to, time to prepare for this game than you typically do in the WNBA. And you could tell we were prepared. Um, we were all sick of watching film on Dallas. I'll tell you that. Thank you. Rafik. Hey, Coach, part of the reason that you were able to get this win is that you held the Dallas Wings down to 24% in the first half in field goal shooting and 26% overall. What does that tell you about the type of defensive identity that your team created? We just never give up. Um, they're a tremendous one-on-one -on -one team out of system. Um, they're one of the top two teams of unassisted baskets in the league. So even when you do a good job guarding plays, Rafiq, they, they just can go make baskets. It's a credit to our players of staying in plays and really contest. They didn't have their best night. They didn't have their best night. Uh, but you got to give our defense credit for making those shots as difficult as possible. And besides the scoring, like, what's the difference between the blog win tonight and the blog win you had the last time you were playing them in Dallas? And Rafiq, I don't even remember right now all the details of the last game. It's just one game at a time. But, uh, you know, tonight was that first quarter, set the tone, um, gave us a comfortable lead, allowed us to play a little bit freer, not, in, not tight. And you could see a confidence in our group tonight that if they, if they didn't hurt themselves, um, if we screened well, we moved the ball, we were going to get quality shots, and then they were just locked in defensively. Appreciate your insight. Miles? Hey, Kurt, congratulations on the win tonight. Um, Natisha came in and really sparked that second unit, helping to extend that lead to about 20 points with her scoring late in the first quarter and early in the second quarter. What did you see out of her tonight energy-wise that really gave you that boost and, and took the baton from the first unit? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Natisha has been a great spark for us all the time. Um, she's a tremendous three-point shooter, but I thought the difference tonight was how aggressive she was to get two feet in the paint. Uh, she scored some conventional three-point plays and some tough baskets around the basket. Um, and you could just see a determination to get into the paint tonight and make things happen. So um, she really gave us a spark there early um, and then ran the team that whole fourth quarter. Thank you. And uh, during the game tonight, Jasmine Thomas became the franchise's all-time assist leader. Could you talk a bit about her contribution to the team, not just tonight, but as a leader throughout her career here? Yeah, again, you know, I, it was the first thing we talked about in the locker room. It, it's special anytime you're a statistical leader in one of the 12 franchises in the league. It's longevity, it's success. Um, you know, it's it, it's unselfish. That stat is a really unselfish stat of assist. Um, and again, this year, Miles, she has really sacrificed maybe some personal shine on her for the way we want to play and the way we believe we can be a championship contender. And she's not taking as many shots, but she's shooting the ball tremendously from the arc. Um, but she's our captain and she's our facilitator. And for her so unselfish this year to understand that there's a style that we truly believe in that can ultimately put ourselves in position is just a credit to what a professional she is. Thank you so much. And congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Ned. Howdy, Kurt. Congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, hopped on the call about a minute or two late, but heard you mentioned, uh, being a lot of joy tonight with the team. Um, has there been a lot of that after games this season? Because I know you and the players have discussed a lot how even after wins, you may not be satisfied. Um, the guys have also discussed how you can be pretty businesslike at times. 
tonight a break from the norm for you guys? Yeah, for sure. Ned, today was just different. There was a joy in that locker room. There was a sense of satisfaction on how we came out, how we were focused. We threw the first punch um, out of halftime. We wanted them to take the first time out. We got them to take the first time out in the third quarter. So there's just a lot of satisfaction tonight. I appreciate the peer accountability in that locker room and that they there's times even after wins that they want to be better. We know we can be better. There's some times, as I shared in this profession, that winning sometimes too often becomes a relief. Tonight was different. There was a joy. There was a satisfaction. And uh, it's only one game. And mm-hmm. now that what they do know is that we're back to work tomorrow in preparation for L.A. Uh, just a quick question off the game. Um, noticed that Alyssa's injury designation has changed on the uh, game reports. Wondering what's going on with her, and, and you know, is there any chance that she might be able to play for you this season? Yeah, and I've, I've shared this a couple times, and, and trying to get the message consistent is that yeah. we are pleased with her rehab. Mm-hmm. We are pleased with um, where she's at. Um, You know, right now there's still observation, evaluation needed on a daily basis, Mm -hmm. but she, you could say that she is ahead of schedule. Um, Mm -hmm. Ultimately, you know, AT would play not only when she's physically ready, but mentally ready. Uh, It is not always easy mentally to come back from a major injury. And so we need everything to align. And if that's November 1st in Czech Republic, then that's great for AT. If it's somewhere in this season, um, you know, that's great also. But, uh, you know, she's in a – she warmed up with us. That is why um, the status change um, in today's game, that she was going to warm up with us. I wasn't out there. I was on my pre-game media call um, to see all the warm-up, but um, she was scheduled to go through a warm-up with the team today. Well, she impressed the Dallas announcing crew, so there's that. Thanks. Thank you. Charlotte, you'll be the last question for Kurt. Hey, Kurt. I just wanted to follow up on that question, actually. You're talking about that joy in the locker room, like post-game, who you're seeing kind of really, I don't want to say initiate that or, or really bring it um, in a situation like like tonight. Charlotte, can you repeat it? You came in and out just a second, and I don't know if I got the context of the question. Sure, yeah. Um, just who you're seeing really bring or initiate that joy, I should say, um, on a night like tonight. You know, we, we talked about a few individual things first. We talked about Jazz. We talked about JJ, um, you know, when we're in there. And you can feel the joy for them. Um, uh, we have a staff member on the trip that had not been on the trip before, so we singled out. Um, a staff member that, you know, now she's one to know. So there was a lot of, you know, camaraderie right away when we were in the locker room, but um, you know, it's that veteran group and uh, you know, DB stepped up and, and made sure that we all, we all felt the joy. We all felt um, the satisfaction for this one. And it, we really wanted to come out strong. And for the first quarter that we had setting the tone uh, was a true satisfaction for us tonight. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Kurt. You're all set. Thank you. Tonight we'll bring in Natisha and Bree Jones. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll go ahead and open up some questions. Please address who you would like to answer the question. Miles, you can go first. Oh, well, first of all, congratulations to you both. Um, Natisha, I just asked. Kurt Miller about your game tonight because you really brought a great spark late in that first quarter early into the second quarter and he mentioned that you had a determination to get two feet into the paint tonight uh what was what was your thinking tonight especially on that that over the head layup that uh, you hit in transition Mm -hmm. on four uh that shot was pretty lucky but I knew that I got fouled so I just threw it up to try to just like see what would happen and it went in and then as far as just like I just feel like um, like the whole team's energy was good before the game. So that's where I kind of got the energy from. And we just clearly played a great game. 
And we know any shot that T's throwing up is going in, even with her feet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. And Bree, you had a great game tonight too. What does it uh, what does it change for you when you're going against such a young front court in in Dallas? Does um, does that affect your approach at all? Because you were chasing down some of those rebounds. Looks like you might have gotten a shiner tonight. Uh, I got that. I mean, I got that in practice. But <laughs> okay. All right. all right. So that practice is what sets you up for the for these games, I guess, yeah. huh? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really change um, how I approach the game. I think I'm just uh, trying to be in attack mode every game um, and just uh, do what I do on the block. Um, my teammates, I mean, they find me every game. So um, I'm just trying to continue uh, what I've been doing the last few games and uh, just trying to stay in attack mode. Thanks so much. Congratulations to you both tonight. Thanks. Rafiq, followed by Charlotte. Hey, ladies, congratulations on the win. I just want to ask you, what are your thoughts on the way you held the Dallas Wings to 26% from the field throughout the game? Um, I think every night we come out, uh, we try to hang our hat on defense. And I think we wanted to start this game um, intense and uh, do everything we can from the jump, um, defensively, offensively. So I think our mindset going in the game was just trying to uh, be better than our last game and just keep continuing to uh, improve ourselves, our game, um, offensively, defensively, as we are making this push into to the playoffs. And a follow-up question, um, now that you guys won 10 straight, is this one of those things where you can get excited or it's like, okay, one ten in a row, on to the next game? One ten in a row, on to the next game. And City Field, where you at? City now, I'm Field. in Brooklyn, New York. This is just my background. Oh, okay, <laughs> lit. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks, you too. You too. Charlotte, followed by Wensley. <laughs> Hey guys, nice to see you. Um, Kurt had talked about the joy in the locker room and just kind of wanted to ask like what your impression of that is and how you guys are kind of just, I don't want to say the mood of the team, but just after a night like tonight and carrying that out the rest of the regular season. Um, I think every night we try to go out, we try to have fun um, while staying focused, locked in and executing our game plan. So I think um, we go out there, we're having fun for each other, we're having fun with each other. And like she said, at the beginning of the game, like before the game, like everybody was into it and we could just feel that energy um, going into the game. And I think that just brings us joy. Everybody's um, excited. We're all excited for each other's success. Um, and I think uh, us playing together, working together and stuff, it just, it's just, it's leading to our team success. So I think uh, as we continue to um, finish out this season, I think just having that joy in the locker room, having fun, I think that's, that's what it's all about. Natisha, uh, quickly follow up on that. You got the vibes uh, on the bench last season. Uh, how have you carried those over to uh, this year and with Dijonay, you two have a lot of fun. <laughs> we be lit on the bench 24-7. We actually got in trouble because we be trying, we be so excited, we be running on the court. So we got to remember it. Look, look, it's only five people on the court at one time. Let's back up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One, so you can go ahead. Okay, um, Brianna, you've got um, yet another double double, you know, 18 and 10, um, just absolutely, you know, killing it. You're a plus 24. Um, actually, every single person in your starting lineup was at least a plus 23, right? So you guys are dominating. What I want to ask you is, how hard is it to take it one day at a time, you know, one game at a time when you are just, you know, cruising? You've won 10 straight. You guys seem to be unbeatable at this point. I don't want to jinx anybody, but how hard is it to take it one day at a time when you've been so good, so consistent for such a long period of time? I mean, I think, um, you know, every day we come into the locker room, we come into practice with the same mindset. And I think uh, everybody's uh, locked into that. Everybody wants to do, what, do whatever they can to get better. Um, you know, even though we are um, playing so well, there's still things that were like, there's still slip ups. And I think everybody has that mindset of we can be better. And if we want to be a championship team, then we have to do those things, do the little things. And I think um, just coming out every night and uh, improving on our last night, I think having that mindset has allowed us to be this successful. And Letitia, um, tonight, you know, you were a star off the bench. You know, it, it seems like every other night there's someone, whether it's Kyla, you know, or, or someone else. How do you really know when you get into the game, like, where to pick your spots and like, is it my night or is it just mm -hmm. kind of going with the flow of the game and seeing how yeah, you, you don't know. It's just like, you just get on the court, see, see what's going on, what what's given to you and what's not. And that's the thing It you know, it could be anybody stepping up and it, you know, we'd be happy for each other. Everybody be so happy and into it and excited. And uh, it's just a good feeling that, you know, we cheer for each other and, and we care about each other so much on the court. Thank you guys. Um, congrats on the win. Yeah, thank you. 
Miles, you have another question? Yeah, just one more um, for both of you, actually. Uh, Jasmine Thomas became the franchise's all-time assist leader tonight. Uh, do either could either of you talk to her leadership and uh, her facilitating and just her team, her as a teammate? I mean, her leadership is everything. I've been playing with her for the last uh, five seasons, and um, just having her on the court out there leading us at, at the point guard, it's, it's it's been great. And she always makes the right reads, uh, whether it's for her, whether it's for other players. So I think just having her out there, and I think. Um, Going back to training camp this year, like she came in late and just missing her voice. I, I felt that a lot. I felt that a lot <laughs> yeah, um, in training camp. So just, you know, you never know um, how much she brings until, you know, she wasn't there for a little bit. But it's, it's great to have her on the court and, um, you know, she leads us. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Like she's always talking like every single day, every practice, every. She don't stop pretty much. <laughs> And uh, personally, for me, just being at the same position as her, she's taught me so much. And it's always like in my ear telling me, you know, you could do this or you could do that. So just having her as like that also mentor figure on the court. Um, but yeah, she she really don't stop talking in her energy is pretty A1. A thanks so, so much again. Thanks. All right. Thanks, ladies. You're all set. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.